What's going on, dudes and dudettes? Welcome back to another episode of MC Eternal here with your pal, Super Turtle. What's going on, guys? I hope you're all having a fantastic day, staying safe and inside. And yes, boom. This is what we're working on today. Um, so I want to talk to you guys a little bit about this already. I have set these guys up with the... Uh, drawer controllers and stuff like that. The reason I don't, I, I'm gonna stick with drawers, is because I only need to have one ME storage interface on this drawer controller, and then I can use all these. So I'll just keep putting in a bunch of the storage upgrades, and then we'll do that. And if you guys didn't know, um, let's go ahead see if I can show you this. If we go here like this to the storage bus. Um, actually, this used to be online, it's not online. Uh, but if you set this to a priority pretty high and you do the partition storage, um, this will allow items to be put back into your system after you take them out. So I remember I used to have the issue where I would take things out of here and then it would just go into my drives and it wouldn't go back into the storage. But if you set it up like that with the high priority in the partitions, the storage bus knows what items need to be put into the, the storage drawer controller and then it'll put them all into there. So that's what we're going to be doing for that. I do have a few items down here that we are having in bulk. So that's fun. And then we also have kind of brought these guys down a little bit. Uh, we only have, uh, what is it like? Six rows of three, so 18 of these storage columns. Uh, but 18 times 10 is 100. No, that's not right. These each hold 10. So 10 times, 10 times, oh wait. That's only like one per. I need to do math off camera, but we're gonna have a lot of storage here anyway. I was planning on going up a bit higher, but this is actually much easier. And if we have this method set up correctly with these storage drawers, we won't really have to do that. Uh, we don't really have to worry about these filling up too quick. But uh, I did these off camera. I talked about them a few episodes ago. Uh, we have just an, uh, like some fun stuff. Auto crafting, we have the, the quantum rings and all of that. Um, I do have a better method because we're gonna be using P2P channels over the quantum uh, bridges, which are these guys, and we will be setting up that today. I'll be showing you guys how to set these guys up, but if you see here, we have storage two, and I think this is just storage. Yeah, so we need two of these. Unfortunately, we can't run them out of one. Actually, we could, but I like my design that I have. It looks pretty neat. So let's get on to that over here. Okay, so this is where I've decided to put the quantum rings on this side of the, um, with our ME controllers. Uh, and I'm gonna show you guys how to set the P2P channels up. So we're going to be sneezing. <laughs> All right, and we're gonna be using these colors over on this side for, um, this is storage two. So we're gonna be using white, we're gonna be using purple, and we're gonna be using yellow. Okay, so then we need to put a P2P channel on here, on each, that's an anchor. That freaking heck. Okay, P2P channel here, here, and here. And as you can see, they kind of linked up over there. We're gonna be putting uh, red, green, and blue. There's no correlation between that and RGB. Just don't worry about it. And then we're going to be putting the P2P channels on this side as well. And what these basically do is they allow us to, say, grab the 32 channels from here, use the P2P tunnel, and then transfer the 32 storage with only using, you could actually use just a normal, ca or a normal cable for this. But we're going to be doing it in a special way. So we're going to link these up with the ME Smart cables. And I don't know why that's there. That should not be there. We're going to remove this. I did have this set up previously because I wanted to test it out before I told you guys about it. Ooh, lag. Okay. Okay, so each of these do need to have a connection to the ME network. So if we put that there, yep. And then these will each get power and they'll be able to be good to go. Why are you like these? You have zero channels, device online, missing channel. Missing chat. Why are you online? And this one isn't. Oh, now it's on. Okay, it's just taken a while since it's on a server. Okay, so now each of these are online, as you can see, coming through here. 
there are it looks like three three channels being used over here and then there should be three channels being used over here yep there sure are so this side is almost set up we do need to grab one more item uh, it is a memory chip i have this crafted already crafted up if we go like this just the recipe it's very simple you just need a calculation processor some iron some gold and some redstone now mine does look a little bit differently because i have been grabbing these but uh, we're going to work on setting up the cables, as I said, before we get into programming the P2P channels. So we need red, green, and blue connected to the storage one. I'm going to call that. Okay, so over here, this is where we're going to be setting up stuff. So I'm going to have blue in the middle here just because this is how I had it set up in my test. And we are going to run this down to three, like so. And just to make it look pretty neat, we're going to put that there. Then we're going to take red, and we are going to run it this way. So I had it in my test. Here and here. And now we're going to take green. And, yep, we're going to run it the exact same way as red was run bring it out over here like so connect it up to the drives and I've also discovered here you might be wondering why don't you make the ME drives taller but the I don't know if it's the quantum I, I don't know what's going on it doesn't like it when we put more than eight channels through these guys which is uh, or through these guys here we have eight devices or drives connected it's not a big fan of anything more than that so these are connected. I do have a, there are a few issues that we'll talk about later on, but we're going to be connecting up here like so. And now these devices should be good to go. So now we're going to grab this memory card and we're going to head back over to the base. All right, and we're going to grab the red channel. So we're going to shift, right click it to get this uh, configuration. As you can see, it changed there. It's got blue, gray, uh, cyan, and green, or lime green, sorry. And then we're gonna come over here and we're gonna go to red. And we're going to click this, just normal click it. And this will copy that configuration over. So now it knows that through this quantum bridge that it should be good to go. And we don't want these to connect here. So we're going to go like this to anchor that off. So it doesn't connect through this cable, it connects through this bad boy. So now this should be okay. It might take it a second because this happened. So we're going to go ahead and do the other ones. So I'm going to do uh, all of those guys and we'll set up the other side. So green. Boop. Ha! And blue. Pow! All right, so blue's done. And if we look over here, you can see that the channels are actually starting to connect over here. Uh, we do have 24 because it is a three, or what's it? Get up there, get up, please. Please get up, okay. So as you can see, eight, eight, eight. These are all connected together on one, or on one dense cable, so 24. We are gonna have 25 on this one over here because we're gonna be running the cable for this guy. I've got conduit facades here. It's running down. And if we look, we should, come on, we should be able to see that. That's where that smart cable comes out of. So yeah, that's how we set up one side. As you can see, it's actually pretty simple. Um, like I was saying earlier, I did try to connect more of the ME drives to this, but it seemed to only like the limit of eight for each of these. I, I wasn't able to get any more added onto it. It just didn't, it didn't make nine or anything like that. So 24 is going to be the limit, and unfortunately, that's a little too much for a lesser cable to run, and which is quite unfortunate. So we're going to go ahead, and we're going to connect up our ME drive, or our ME storage buses over here to green, and then we're going to be working on this side now. So we're going to get yellow wired up. Actually, gray is over there. We're going to have yellow here. All right, a little bit of lag on the server today. All right, there we go. Check it out. Looking cool. And then, yep, we're going to leave that there. We're going to run purple in the middle, just like we, we're going to mirror this side to the other side, but just different colors. Okay, so very cool. And then this should place now. Yes, it does. Okay, now we're going to put the P2P channels over here on this side. And for future stuffs, so we're going to sneak around to the back here. And we're going to place this on that. 
So now it will connect. And then we're actually going to leave this disconnected until we get the channels on the other side set up. This is a, this system is a little finicky, so we're going to have to just make that work. And then I should have a few more P2P channels here. Just a few. Actually, I think that's all the P2P channels we need. Just kidding. Okay, so we're going to grab the white one. All right, the white channel is here. All right, good. We're going to grab purple now. And purple on this side. Cool. Now for yellow. All right, and yellow on this side. Cool. So let's connect these up with this smart cable. That way we can always tell the channels. All right, and let's let these guys get all set up on their own. Now, if you guys do have issues where this thing doesn't seem to light up, I have found that removing this middle cable with a network tool and then reconnecting it will get everything back online working properly. So as you can see, this is working good. But this one, as you can see, has 25, while the other ones only have 24. And that's because of the storage buses in the back. So let's connect this. Bam. Now, this should be connected up soon. Device online, good. It should auto connect online and online. So now it's going to go through with a little bit of lag, and it'll be a little bit slower because of the lag. And connect up to these MU drives that we have. And then after that, we sh yep, there we go. Look at that. They've all started connecting up. Cool. So we've got a total of 24 there, total of 25 here because of the storage bus, and 24 here. So now all of these guys are on the network and are ready to go. Now another thing to know that um, for power for these quantum rings, uh, you can have power set up here. I'm just going to leave these here. These, this actually doesn't need it. After the connection has been established, uh, it will draw power through the quantum uh, network, I guess. Uh, I guess you could call it that. And uh, the only time that you do need it is if it gets misconfigured. You'll need to basically jumpstart it to connect it. So that's why I have it here, just in case you need to come back here and undo that middle cable and put it back in. Uh, but as we can see, we should, with the storage buses, these should be going up now. Uh, they are definitely up higher because this was only at uh, like one stack when I put it in. So it's actually like really working. But let's talk about this one here. Uh, I have it running on the black channel uh, because this is our bulk crafting and I want to leave it. I want to get our, our cable, our channels to the, uh, the proper, or just... I want to leave, reserve that just for the bulk crafting because this one, like, these are good, you know, for kind of crafting. I left a uh, molecular assembler out over there. I'll need to put that back. But these are good for just basic things to craft, but I want these guys. So if we need to do, like, infirmium or supremium, like, supremium crafting items and stuff like that, like, things that need a lot of items crafted, I want to throw into here. Um, so we're going to work on that right now. So let's go ahead... And we're going to make a little break here, which it should connect up just like so. And I think it would be a good idea. Um, I'm going to run this to purple. Wait, you can't connect that, can you? No. Hmm, maybe we do have to use another color. Hmm, okay, so we're just going to run it, run it with a smart cable because it's only like, well, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, because the molecular assemblers don't count for storage. Um, yeah, that does work. Let's see if that works to get those guys online. Oh, look at that. Five. That might work, maybe. Oh, look, it did work. Okay, so we got five connected through. So this is up to 29. Okay, cool. So that means all of our bulk crafting is good to go. All right, check that out. And they're all work they're all turned on. Cool. I'm probably just going to fill the blocks between here with glass uh, and then these connect through. Right. Oh, cool beans. Now, I want to talk to you guys about setting up the auto crafting areas. Uh, like the the crafting storage and we're gonna put that over here as well. So let's work on that next. I freaking hate that so much. Okay Okay, so let's see about getting some of these crafting units made up while we wait. I should have Do I have some in here? I do have some in here. Cool. So we can go ahead and combine these up I'm Telling you guys the ME system is acting really weird lately If that I'm going crazy Probably the latter of the two. Okay. 
So let's see here. All right, so we should be good to go now. Okay, cool. So that's gonna start crafting up. Uh, let's go ahead and combine these here. Boom, so 60 of these 4K crafting things. Okay, so we're gonna have a few of the channels over here, and I don't know what we're gonna do about this. I do, I know I want one crafting thing here, one crafting thing here, crafting here, crafting here. I don't know if we want crafting here. It might not be a bad idea. So we're gonna need, uh, let's see. How are we doing with those crafts? Okay, so this is, this is being made. That's being made too. I do need to make some more of these crystal growth accelerators. Like a lot more. What's being used over here? This guy is. Let's give him some help. Okay, so I'm gonna graph this up some of these stuff up and actually I think most of it's good. And we're gonna work on this uh, in a second. Yeah, because it's crafting up those. Okay, I'll be right back, guys. All right, so I figured we could set one of these up here so we can continue the auto crafting. Uh, so I want to have this like so. Actually, not that high. So we're going to do top two. So like that, and then. Yep, that's how we're gonna do it. Okay, so I wanna come back. That works. Oh shoot, we don't have enough. <laughs> um, well, shoot. Okay, so what these actually do is they allow for, uh, I, I believe what they said was or what it what what they're for, uh, what am I even trying to say? These are for allowing parallel crafting. So if we have an item that we're trying to craft that that needs, I guess, like three different things to craft before, this will allow each of those to be crafted in a certain way or something like that. It's pretty neat. Yeah, but this is gonna connect all the way down and not be very neat. Does it make? Does it need one? It doesn't need a lot. Up, oh, yep, one. Okay, so we're able to start crafting it. I did. I I tore that up in the middle of our auto crafting and didn't realize that I had done that. Okay, so we're gonna get the processors going. Uh, forty-eight. Cool. All right. So this is how you make the co-crafting units. So we're actually. Oh, we made a lot more than I thought. Let's make some of these. We're gonna make a hundred more of these up and we're gonna be working on getting the other one set up. So let's go ahead and finish up this one. Um, which is just the co-crafting unit. Okay, so this one's done. Uh, it's just gonna be a three by four. So that should be okay. Now let's work on getting this guy set up over here. Okay, so this one's good to go as well. And then I think we're actually gonna have two of these running up. So this side over here, we can do this. It's funny, I told you I was reserving that channel for it, and now I'm really not. So then we'll have the pillar come up, and then we're going to do this all the way up on each side, and we're going to have a fun time doing it. All right, I'm going to do that off camera, and I'll be right back, guys. Oh my goodness, guys. Ugh. This is taking forever, but I finally finished up these guys here. We need to find a way to speed everything else up, I guess. Um, these all have been set up, so these two areas are good. I don't know what we're going to be doing here. We might just bring this out past here. And add this onto the outside. We're actually going to cover this up. I've decided I want to put another layer of these on the back just so we can do a little bit more crafting. Um, 
But I think that is going to wrap up the episode for today, guys. We, it was a lot. We did a lot of cool stuff with Applied Energistics 2. Uh, let me know if you guys have any suggestions for this room. I'd like to hear them down in the comment section. It'd be great if you commented. But guys, thank you all for watching. This has been Super Turtle, your favorite turtle boy. I'll see you all in the next episode. Peace out. Bye-bye.